last year we closed out at about 85k to 90k that's just off of just deal um uh, uh, with just fashion oh, okay. Um, oh, okay that's just them um and so basically how they do their deals is they do it monthly yeah Mo well they'll do a contract so they'll be like okay we want to keep this person for three months and we gonna see how they do so they may do three months 15k in total right you know what i'm saying and they just split it between those three months but you got to do your whole like they'll say do an instagram reel you got to do a youtube so they call. give you an actual you got to do um uh, what else you make you got you got to post a uh one in feed post mm -hmm. um and then a couple of stories stories you know like how people post on your instagram you post yeah. a story or whatever but you got to do three frames. Yeah. So you got to do one, you know, one post, one post, one post, one post. That counts as one. Uh. So then you have to make sure you have your link. So they'll give you a special link that you put in there. Okay. Yo, it's your boy, B. Lee. They ain't gonna believe me today. See me on TV. I'm here with Moles in the Make It, episode 18. Let's get it. Yo, welcome, welcome. Another episode of Moguls and the Making. I'm your host, Omari Heflin. Man, welcome to episode 18. I'm your, your, your most handsome, your most dopest kicks. Go ahead and get them. Get them. You do that. What the dude be doing on the over there? Yeah, that shit might be harder than mine today. My shit's right, still smooth, dog. Uh, Tyrone Johnson, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we good to have y'all here again, man. We actually, yes, sir. Hey, we, hey, we kind of, you know what I'm saying? We have, we got, we got a special guest for y'all today. We got some interesting stuff to talk about yeah. uh, with y'all today, man. So uh, we can't wait to get to that. But before that, what we got rolling, you know, as far as uh, legacy, moguls in the making, let's, let's, let's talk yeah. about the trip coming up. Man, we got a trip coming. I actually got two trips coming up, you know, but yeah, um, <laughs> we going out to Phoenix, man. Um, and we are going to be out there at the growth summit with um brent daniels um the whole wholesaling ink you know what i'm saying squad uh we're gonna be out there with them tom crow pace morby jamil um all of them you know all of those guys out there in arizona so we're gonna be out there speaking so if you are in arizona well this is gonna be probably out after yeah um <laughs> but yeah we're gonna be out there man so it's gonna be super dope we'll have brent daniels actually on our podcast coming up Yep, your guests, you know, a couple other people down there. So, yeah, we getting ready for that trip this week. We also just locked up a huge deal. Probably like, um, you know, we probably can make roughly, we'll see. But I already checked it out, walked it. It's probably about a 100K profit on it. Most definitely. Uh, I think if we can work out a, situ a cool situation with the tenant, yeah. be able to give her cash for keys. But the house is in great shape. The owner's just done with it, and uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be the biggest one of this year so far, going into the summertime. So most definitely, kind of what's going on. Just you know? to kind of keep y'all up to date too, man. Like with with deals like that, it's like we went out there, and I mean, like we literally just pulled up on them. Like we just pulled up at their crib. That's been some of our biggest deals this year. Is like just pulling up to the to the owner's crib. Yeah, like it might get a little bit uncomfortable for you, but if you had that conversation with them, and they just kind of like in that between stage, that gray area. Just go out there. You might knock on their door. They might say, fuck you. Get the fuck off my porch. Or you might sign the deal that you can make six figures on. So, and <laughs> even if they take say, the even if they, if you never, even if you knock on the door and they say, get the fuck out of here, it's probably because it's some motivation and they're not really ready yet. But right. trust me, when they're ready and they actually going to move forward, they yep. gonna call you. Still leave your information there, et cetera, man. They done but seen you, you done linked up with them, all of that. So Absolutely. So I'm 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 super excited about Phoenix. Um we're gonna be actually speaking on a panel there too. We need I don't know if Amari said that. T said we're gonna be, be speaking on than the, me, supposedly. So I'm, I'm listen, man. That's I don't what compare he said. myself to other men. I don't, so I what don't he either, doing, but that's what you told you me. You know I never say nothing like but that. But he told y'all know y'all know I never say nothing like that. T nasty. All I said was is T that, Bone. All I said was that it was I, I'm T come, Grizzly. I'm, I said I'm putting that shit on. That's all I said. And he now, said that shit's gonna be that, better than yours. He took that as a that's direct he, comparison that's to him. That's what he said, y'all. Cut it out. I know T, y'all know how petty it is. You been sending me text messages I'll, and everything all, all week and shit. Hey man, I ain't worried about the next man. Like, I know I'm coming with that shit on though. We gonna see. Yeah, 
<laughs> but without further ado, we talking about that shit on. He got that shit on today, goddammit. Man, for real, for real, man. Special, Brandon. Special guest, man. B. Lee, man. What's good with you? Wait, hold up. Brandon. Lee. <laughs> Buckley. Buckley, man. And give shout me, out to the Buckley. Yeah, my bad, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out to the Buckleys, man. Because I know this dude, whole family, like even before I even really met you, you know what I'm saying? Like I knew your whole family, bro. Big Buck, uh, Red, yeah. uh, Keith, Kyla. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, bro, crazy. it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Your, bro just, your younger brother, I, uh, uh, yeah. I'm, just, I'm losing his name right now. Uh huh. Lil Buck. <laughs> But for real, That's man, shout know. out to the Buckleys, you know man. They got yeah. a big ass family like here. Right. It's it's, it's kind of dope, bro, to see y'all just kind of continue to grow and and um, I always see y'all get together and stuff like that, bro. And that's pretty dope. So, but but without further ado, man. Welcome B to the show. Lee. Yes, sir. Your boy B. Lee in the building. Man, man. Shit, <laughs> good to have you, big dog. Man, yes, sir. Shit, man. Yes, sir. Show, man. We definitely going to chop it up. I feel like I want to hop straight into it. <laughs> okay. B. Lee, so like. You know, you go crazy on social media. You go crazy on TikTok. How did, like, how are you monetizing that, and how did that start? Man, uh, uh well, TikTok. Where, where are you, my bad, where are you at today? Yeah, let's start TikTok, there. through all social media, where are you at as far as followers, views, deals, just the overall social uh, media major package? Majority built? Uh, TikTok, well, I'm over 100K on there. Followers, likes. Yep, followers. Okay. Um, and then likes, we getting about shoot millions. I've had couple more than a couple goals. I think it was one point six million. Period. Yeah, something yeah. like that, like one point nine. <laughs> yeah, million. but that's just your uh, page. So yeah, that's so <laughs> that's just my page. But like Instagram, we reaching about me personally. I'm almost twenty five. Okay, twenty five k. Um. Brand wise, I'm sponsored by uh, Fashion Nova and Nova Men, oh. uh, Rockstar Original. What size you wear, bro? <laughs> Mad to put in some orders. <laughs> I put y'all. I put y'all. I put y'all some what, stuff. What else? Uh, what else? <laughs> Fubu. Uh, so we did some stuff with them because they're coming back out again. Mm -hmm. uh, Rap snacks. Um, shoot, I can't forget because. Uh, B <laughs> B condoms is another. So it's a black first black owned condom company. Mm. Um, in in the U S. and uh, we're a part of that. Um, there's a new brand that's coming out called you know like everybody wear PSD and mm -hmm. all that stuff, but it's a black owned brand called Draws. Mm. So uh, we're the new face of that. Oh, that's sweet. Um, so it's super dope to like kind of collab with a lot of black owned companies. Absolutely. I'm I'm very I'm an advocate for that. That's so, yeah. Now I want to take it back a little bit because I remember when you met with me and my brother at Purdue way back when, when you <laughs> was first kind of getting this idea off the ground. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. Because back then it was Elite Empire Group. Yep, sure was. It was. And I was just telling him about uh, that. Cause that's he was crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling him about that. Like you literally drove down to West Lafayette, link with us, sat down with us, all this, that, and the other. And we didn't even understand it at the time. We like, what does bro really want to do though? Like we, you came down, you told us about it, but we like, but what, we don't understand what he's trying to do. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I want an entertainment industry. I mean, I want to, I want a, a athletic slash entertainment slash model slash, and then to see you today, that's kind of what everything ended up evolving yep, into. Indeed. But talk to me about like that part. Cause like early on when there wasn't believers, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, and, right. like talk about the negative part of it. Cause I know you want to do it more around, you know what I'm saying? Black men. Culture. And, and you know what I'm saying? Everything. Talk about the negatives that came with that, like people not believing in your dream and stuff. Um, it was a lot, man. Like I, I, I've had opportunities where you know there would be things on the table, and I would present it to people, and then they like, like kind of like how you said, yeah. like, it, no, I don't really know if that's called. That's a, I'm just my aesthetic. Yeah, and I don't know if it's gonna be, and it's like, trust me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's gonna work, but then you know. If it ain't a Jay Z or a Diddy uh -huh. or uh, you know what I'm saying, somebody behind it, they like, you know, I don't, I don't really, you know, not saying they don't believe in it, uh -huh. they just don't know what where it's exactly. gonna go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And so I had a lot of that. I had a lot of uh, people just, you know, our city's small, 
So it's just like, what is this nigga doing? Like, right. I don't even know what you know what's going on. So because you started to sponsor like basketball teams and all this as it started to grow. Before I before you came down there, that was kind of like the early early stages. Yeah, that was real, real early. Real I think you might have just opened the, the idea up yeah, and really yep, put it together. Yep. But then after that, I started kind of seeing you sponsor teams and stuff, and I'm still like, okay, yeah, okay. He yeah, I something. started doing, like, when we had, like, the summer leagues. Yeah. So, like, the summer leagues, I would, like, sponsor a team, get it together, yeah. try to get everybody to be a part. Some people didn't believe in that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, they were like, oh, I'm going to go play with Hey Yo. Shout out Hey Yo. <laughs> shout out Hey Yo. That's Definitely my homie. Shout out Hey Yo. Uh, but, you know, they'll go play with him, or he'll see some people and be like, no, you come know over here I with it. Yeah, come over here. Come over here with it. I'll be like, damn. <laughs> all right, that's cool. Bet. Most so, uh, but yeah, like over time, I just started growing, and then when the pandemic hit, that's when it like really blew up. Yeah. So yeah. what happened though? I think like it was just you know everybody was at home chilling. Wasn't really doing nothing. We didn't have any ideas. Like, so I was like, you know what? This could be the perfect time to really lock in with people because a lot of people weren't doing anything. Right. right? It, it was like they, they were more, more open. Time. They had more time. They had a yeah. lot of different stuff like that. So we ended up, um, I ended up start doing like little games on Instagram. I was about to say, what was that one? Like, yeah. What was I had first? like, it was like five stuff in your crib. And, and I would pay them through Cash App. So that's how they would, like, tap into my Instagram live. So, like, I would. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Break that down. Yeah. So you would, like, because, like, you, I don't understand what you Why? said. So, like, okay, so, like, you know how everybody was bored during the pandemic and stuff. So, like, I'd be like, you got five seconds to go and find me some uh, lorry seasoning. You know how everybody mm, got lorry seasoning. So right. They, they hurrying up trying to go <laughs> go through the crib. Like, oh, okay, I got lorry seasoning. Like, I what? got that. So then I'll be like, all right, um, if they hit, like, I think it was, like, 10 items. Yeah. I ended up paying them, like, maybe, like, $100, $200. Damn, that was a dope-ass idea. Yeah. On your live? Yeah, I would do it live. So people started really digging into the live kids, after that. Kids, like, kids, adults, like, everybody just started really, like, was like, wait, like, I want to play. Like, right, like right. I know I got, I know where this stuff is at my crib. Right. So, like, I would every day write a list. Of of stuff. like stuff of like that I think somebody will have in their crib, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just creative minds so did, right so there. Did you bro. have like even was you just doing it just to test it out to try to put it towards something else, or was you like, I just was doing it because I was bored. Boy, right? Really, really, really. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna just give out, out some money. It's cool, yeah. but just to try to gain attention and just. Yo. I know eventually I'm gonna do because I'm, I'm sure that was still part of it. Like you yeah, just didn't yeah, do it just yeah. so you know like. Okay, I don't know what I'ma do with this attention, but I know I need to get attention. Right. Yeah. right. You know so what I'm saying? So then it started from that and then TikTok was starting to like jump off. So it was kinda like people would see me on TikTok. They'd be like, This dude too old to be on TikTok dancing and doing right. this and I'm like, you know what? I don't care. We all bored. Yeah. Like everybody's sitting at home, we're not doing nothing. Um, and that was when TikTok went from musically. Yeah, TikTok. Exactly. Mm. Um, and then I just was on there and then it started like booming and people started really watching. So then I was like, okay. Then I started like other people would link up or talk to me or I would reach out to them like, hey, look, I got this plan. Like, yeah. I want to create something, but I don't really, I had Elite Empire Group at yeah. the time and then I was like, what about Melanin? Like Melanin House of Kings, that was like yeah. the first thing. So elite, elite, just to, not to cut you off, Elite Empire Group is something totally different than that was like my first LLC. Right. Okay. Like okay. So really that developed into yeah, it, it developed this. into Melanin. Like okay. really, Melanin House of Kings was like a movement type right. of thing. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Like a hashtag on social media, right. basically. And then what happened with that was like, I started linking with a lot of people that was on there that was on that same type of time. And we yeah. like, you know what? Let's just meet out in Florida and let's see what happened. So we all met up. Um, we had one of my clients now, he had like his first viral 1.5 mil video out. Which was what? What was the video? It was like a little- And what's his name? Shout him out. Uh, Metellus, uh, shout out to you. But he, it was just a little thirst 
trap right. type video. <laughs> he came out the uh, the hot tub or whatever, and all the girls was like, oh, he's right. he's Beardy King, Beardy King, Beardy King. So then it kind of like yeah, started yeah. from there. And then yeah. uh, that's his I name had, on there, Beardy King. Well, they look at him like the Beardy right. King. Oh, yeah. Because he I was like, he was like one of the yeah. first, like, yeah. really TikTok people out. Got you. Okay. Um, and so from that point, from Florida, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I had a lot of people that, you know, still try to throw salt in the game and still try to, you know, have people come on different sides and, and try Even to, from being out in Florida, you saying? Yeah, like, after I left from Florida, like, you know, I started to, like, really push it, push the agenda. Right. Um, And you still have people that d they believe in it, but then they don't still, right. so they'll leave and go work with somebody else, so they go do this and go do uh, that. And it was uh, like, uh, all right, you know what I'm saying? How'd that make funny. you feel though? Bad. Like, I'm like, well, that ain't like, what am I doing? Like, I ain't doing that wrong. I'm just right. trying to put you on game and I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Build you yeah. so you can understand how this game works. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't really understand it. And I think it's just, a lot of times when I talk to a lot of people, I think in our city, it's just a small, it's just yeah, small minded. Here. Yeah, and everybody is. from here yeah. that's like, I think the they people, don't know what to. They don't take risks. They don't, bro. And I think that's something about like getting out of Indiana. It took me to get out of Indianapolis to stop thinking about the same shit, bro. Yeah, like living in Cali. Like I moved back now. Like it brought me back. But like being out of this area for a little bit. Like I went to school in West Lafayette, right down the road from Indianapolis. Right, right. Like and I was playing. I was traveling everywhere, bro. But like I was playing basketball. Like that was our main focus. It wasn't getting out, meeting people, and networking, and learning different things. I'm like, damn, how the hell he got that much money? What? He do that? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, like, damn, right. that shit's crazy. Right. Yeah. Starting to open your mind up to shit, and it's like, damn, bro, there's so much opportunity out here. For real. Is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I remember one time, one of my first times going out there to Cali, and I went out there to, uh, what's that beach by, uh, what's the main one where they be skateboarding and stuff? At Huntington. Too? Oh, Venice. Venice. Went out to Venice Beach and got to talking to some dude who said that he had did uber out there or no uh i think it was uber and he'll go around and pick up the scooters and stuff like yeah, that yeah. right like go and collect them and charge them and stuff just from that he said he was making like seventy five, hundred, eight thousand a month yeah from that and this is i'm like you know what i'm saying this is years ago right where yeah. you know that was still cool we were still you know we was cool it wasn't something i was interested in but it, just to think about that he Off was even that? making that much Damn near a hundred thousand a year that's off wild. of picking up scooters. That's wild. In Venice Beach. Yeah, that is wild. And that's doing wild. Uber around in the area. I'm like, that is crazy. Like just even small conversations like that just even open up your mind of what actually is possible. Even also just getting out of your environment and get into a different one. Exactly, you know what I mean? man. That's that the would biggest be probably thing. hard to do in that. But over there, that's yeah. attainable. You know what I mean? So tell me about Florida. So like when you go down there. You get with all these folks and you're dealing with, now you're dealing with people that's like super interested in doing content, right? So y'all get down there, y'all start just working together and stuff. And then like, did what you like, was it, yeah, was it, it like, let's put some contracts in place and stuff like that right then and there? No, or was it like? It, I had nobody in contract. Okay. It was all off of just, you believe in me, I believe in you. Right. Yeah, let's try to run it up. Uh, and then I kind of learned later on. That later on uh let's get this paperwork but, together <laughs> yeah let's, let's get <laughs> let's get this black and white together yeah I, I can't i can't uh deal with that because it's hard to people, build a yeah. lot of people will leave yeah like they would get a deal or i would put a deal on the table and they would just like so dip. Bingley, even explain this right to our audience what exactly do you do like when you're saying um you got uh different clients Artists like even when T wrote back and was like athletes, models, yeah, this whole entertainment conglomerate type of thing. Is it like, can you compare it to something else? Uh, I could compare. You know what I'm saying? I Somebody could, I mean, was like, yo, I could what? compare it to a Rock Nation or a okay, or like a quality control okay. type of type of thing. But I'm, I'm trying to do it a little bit bigger. So do you got music? You got music artists? And yeah, stuff? yeah. Oh. I have I have music artists. Um, I have. So you got like a label, yeah. It's almost like a whole label, basically. And are you are you they like are you their? I'm their manager, manager consultant like, as well. Yeah, and I make sure all their deals are in place. Right. Like, um, I have to talk to brands every single day, like about like my my roster of people. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Like what they bring to the table. A lot of my clients have 1.5 mil. Some of them have 2 mil. Some of them have 3.5 mil. Um, on TikTok, they're reaching um, over 200, 300K uh, videos. You know what I'm saying? And um, we get hit up by a lot of brands. And, you know, a lot of times what a lot of people don't know is influencers, they know how to make the content, but they don't know the business side of the content. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? So I'm that one that comes in and it's like, no, you have to do it this way. Right. You know what I'm saying? To make and sense. a lot of brands stopped working with a lot of influencers because they felt like influencers, when they were just, they don't really know about it too much. Yeah. So if they hit up an influencer, the influencer would be like, yeah, you got to pay me, da, 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 da. And then they'll send the content over to them. Like they'll send them clothes, they'll send them whatever. And they never, never get do it. nothing. Yo, they never get it. That's wild. So it's like me, I get held accountable for my clients and uh, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like you getting in, you know, getting it's into still, it it's still, I still be getting into it. I cuss the ass out. I, I let them know like, yeah. Hey bro, like you can't be ruining my connections like yeah. that. Like that's terrible. So, um, Fashion Nova, I talk to them every day. So um, how did so really ex explain to me like some of those deals, like even like even for us, right? We're trying to grow this podcast right now, right? Right. What's some different things like brands? How do they work with influencers, right? For even people who want to be an influencer, maybe they are catching traction, they got an audience, but they're not really getting brand deals yet or different offers. Like right. how how do you feel like they should structure it with them? Um, so basically I always tell people at least get over 10 K 10 K followers Uh between 10 K to 20 K they can start talking. You know what I'm saying? Some business. If you got lower than that, you kind of got to work up, you know what I'm saying? To get to that. If there's some people that may get it, Yeah. you know, depending on who you know too. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. But like that, that would be the structure when you first start off. And then just being consistent on content every day, no matter how many people is watching it. Uh You can have two people viewing, three people, but if you stay consistent, you will get, you know what I'm saying, to that point of where you need to be. So what's what's, what's like a deal that you done put together for your client or yourself that's like, damn, that was a crazy deal. Like, damn, we negotiating this, that like, Uh, shit. I feel like Fashion Nova. Or like, Fashion Nova was it. Can you say some of that though? Because, yeah, I can. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, really, we want to hit our numbers, so, man. So, what fashion have been giving you, man? They're giving you clothes and So, shoes right now, like last year, I can say last year, we closed out at about 85K to 90K. That's just off of just deals. Um, um, with just fashion. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's just them. Um, And so, basically, how they do their deals is they do it monthly. Yeah. Mo- well, They'll do a contract, so they'll be like, okay, we want to keep this person for three months, and we're going to see how they do. So they may do three months, 15K in total. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they just split it between those three months, but you got to do your whole, like, they'll say do an Instagram reel. You got to do a YouTube So they call. give you an actual rules. You got to do, um, what else? Do you make, you got you to post a uh, one in-feed post, mm-hmm. um, and then couple of stories stories you know like how people post on your instagram you post a story or whatever but you got to do three frames so you got to do one you know one post one post one post one post that counts as one so then you have to make sure you have your link so they'll give you a special link that you put in there now you know one thing i i don't want to really say but i'm gonna say it uh yeah yeah, I know when people that real be fin- I know when people be finessing and acting like they sponsored by us, by a company. How you know that though? Oh, like how you? How you I know, know. I know that because they tell me certain things that only a client would know. You know what I'm saying? Like, or somebody that signed with them would know. <laughs> so they tell us a post a certain way, uh, right? And I always go scrolling and then people would be like, oh, I got that Fashion Nova on or I got this. And, and, and then even, they actually put not, the sponsor I got, tag no, on I there got, too. Yeah, and they put the tag. They yeah. tag you, but, but then they I'll not. be like, oh, no, they not. 
So I just keep, I just keep. So scrolling. people just be doing that, just cause. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, bro. people. I know people that will go they, buy. They I know sponsored. people that will literally go buy Fashion Nova and act like that they're sponsored. Well, by how do you feel that's about even that? Making their brand bigger, bro. You ain't getting paid. Them but but th- but think about this. Think about yeah, it like this, that though. True. Like, how do you feel about this? And I mean, obviously, everybody's not going to be able to do it this way. But like, say like a Ricky Rose. Yeah. Now he for him to he what he was repping Bel Air right, like that for before sure. Before they signed him for Bel Air, he true. was buying that shit. He was putting it all on his page, but he knew that he was gonna get the deal because of his worth ethic with it. Like true, if they if they kind of playing that role, do you see it as cool? Yeah, where nah, it's like they trying I, to build and they, and they trying to get Fashion Nova's eye on them awareness. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. I mean, some of us used to do. it. I couldn't even say real talk. I I've done it. Right, you know what I'm saying, but I ain't do it consistently to, cause like now, to where I feel everybody like, really thinking you really. I feel like now it. everybody wants to be an influencer. Yeah, and everybody wants yeah. to do this, so they're gonna do certain stuff to make it look like that they're on that right, and they and not they might own, not be, and it's like yeah. people it disrespect people like me. Yeah, because I really worked for that shit, worked for it yeah. like years. Like a lot of people, like they don't know that story. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you told. You know what I'm saying? Like. So a lot of people don't know for years I was chasing building my brand and, and doing this and doing that and like work trying to work with Fashion Nova, trying to work yeah. with Rap Snacks, trying to work with this brand. And I'm like, are they going to see it or are they not? You know what I'm saying? And it took me to like get other people yeah. that are on the same page, you know what yeah. I'm saying, to kind of just blow it up a little bit. So now, but, I, yeah. now, now for like somebody that's interested in being a, like, owning something like that, like the actual full company of it, like being in your chair, right? Um, what type of deals, like what type of what type of structure are you setting up with your clients? Like like I don't know if my little cousin is still one of your clients. Um uh, <laughs> nah, he thought it was a three sixty. <laughs> no, I <laughs> always do I ain't gonna lie, I do three years. Okay. okay. Starting off. Three do you years. Still got, so you doing uh, a coulda woulda coulda coulda woulda been my little cousin, little Jay. Could, could. What a, what a, what a, he big, he's Jason now, but Jason Beck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We he still, still rocking cool. with you. We still cool. Okay. He moved out to L. A. Yeah, you know, got he moved Hollywood. out there like right before I left. You he know? said got a little Hollywood. He got a little Hollywood. You know? Cause got Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> now that's nah. my dude though. Like yeah. shout out Jay Beck. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, man. When when he first started, he didn't even to not to put him on the table, but you know he didn't he didn't he believed in it, but he was yeah. just like I'm so football, I'm football. I'm yeah, football, he was doing a lot football. of football videos. But then and stuff when like he started too. seeing, he started seeing when I was like, all right, just listen, just trust me, trust it, do this, do that, post like this, do yeah. This. And then when he started seeing it, he like, oh, right, like okay, okay, the script okay. and flip. So like he he really <laughs> now now. He the last time when I talked to him was about like a month ago. Okay. Um, and uh, he really wants to get in the business side now, okay. more yeah. so than being on the forefront. Right. Um, uh, so that that's one of the things with him. But I mean, so how you learn all this? Hey, did you ask somebody that came to give you the game, no. or you were just on there just studying Instagram, no. YouTube, university study? Uh, went out to fucking I don't know you YouTube headquarters or some shit <laughs> like right? Would, would you how'd you get on and start being able to say, hey, yo, do this, do this, do this to try to get well people 15, get results? You know what I'm saying? When I was 15, I interned with Indiana Black Expo. Okay. Uh, I was a part of their like little youth thing. Amp Harris, shout out to Amp. Yeah, that was back uh, when, uh, hold on, man. This just gave me a thought, man. Who, <laughs> who was the rapper that was here? We lived back when we was growing up. They used to always perform at the Black Expo. I had the girls going crazy. Y'all remember him? Lil' Kid? Lil' Kid. Lil' Kid. Yeah, yeah, shout what? out Lil' Kid. I forgot Lil' Kid. Yeah, hey, Lil' Kid. <laughs> Lil' Kid. Lil' Kid, bro. Yo, that's wild. Yeah, shout out to Lil' Kid. Damn, man. You Definitely know, he was really one of the ones, ones that he first was, he was, though. Like, hey, yeah. he was getting out. He, he was. Had Black Expo hot and everything. The Lil chicks were chasing down the hallway and shit. Lil' <laughs> Kid, Yo, that was bro. Wild. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's who it was. Um, But yeah, Amp, like Amp would, he would be like, hey, yo, B, I need some dunkers for the, for the celebrity game. Right. Would you come and do this? And, you know, mind you, I wasn't getting paid nothing. Like, right. It was free. Like, so it was just like, I want that experience. And then from that, those experience that M gave me, um, experiences with just connecting with, like, Swift, with B-Swift. Yeah. And, like, different people, like, they 
you know, believed in what I had and like, um, uh, thanks. I don't want to forget it. So G, so Greg, um, and he does, uh, he does a lot of camera work. Ash yeah. versus Ash Bus. That's my yeah. dog. Um, Dope print. Shout out to him, too. Yep. I think it's, it's changed now. Yeah, yeah he I changed. A, he always know. evolved it. Too yeah, yeah. Bit. So, <laughs> so, like, him, like, yeah, he started a, uh, it was like a summer league at yeah. the time, yeah. a long time ago. That was at Garfield? Yeah. You talking about that one? I don't know. It was before Garfield. No. Oh, they, okay. had it at, they had it at a school. It was out south, actually. Like, oh, okay. out, out south somewhere. But, like, but like him and like him trusting the process and, and like all those people, like when we start getting into like doors and like amp being able to get me in the black expo was yeah, one yeah. thing. And then I met um, a lady named Julie uh-huh. and she runs. Uh, so she would do uh, celebrity basketball games for a Super Bowl. Uh-huh. Um, and so every year it was, it was called the football hoop every year she would help me get out to where wherever she's throwing the events for Super Bowl mm-hmm. and I would be out there. And so I had when we had Super Bowl here in Indy, uh, I was on the street team for that. Okay. And so it turned out to be one of her biggest uh Super Bowl event ever that she's what? ever did. Um it's from that point she was I mess you with coming you. with me? Yeah, like, I Harris, mess with you. <laughs> where we go? So that's where I met Master P. That's where I met uh, Chris Brown. That's yeah. where I met a lot of different people. Now, I wouldn't be like a fan like type right. of thing, like where I'm like, oh. nah. I I would actually converse with them like yeah. about just like, okay, I'm trying to do this. This is what I'm trying to do. Like Master P, for example. Like I told him, I'm like, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build a. Uh, not a label, but like more so of an entertainment team, right? Um, of people, and this is how I want to go about it. And he gave me little gems here and there. Um, and then what happened was every year I was turned back around and see them because uh, they would come uh, every year. Yeah. So then they like, oh, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. it's like a relationship yeah. type of thing. That's what's up. And from that, that's how that's how this kind of like started to formulate because you like all right now i'm getting game from here from there but initially you wasn't getting that that game until you kind of put oh, yourself out there put that work in first yeah. to put that oh, work that's in. what it is and another thing that he said and i say this every podcast goes back to relationships again bro a relationship over money like yeah, i'm telling yeah, y'all yeah, that no. right now i like, believe <laughs> i believe in that 100 percent because like now a lot of people won't they won't do nothing unless they get paid right and it's like really even really like yeah. I don't be wanting to you know what yeah. I'm saying but it's but, like but it's like bro like you're not even in, mad bro. put the work in yeah. you know what I'm saying it's cool to do something for free it's cool to you know what I'm saying grind because it's gonna help you get to that next level so it's like yeah <laughs> so what's next though even like what's yeah. up with I mean you got stuff going with all star you going like what 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 is so I hope what's some I, different events and things like that that you got going on or stuff that you are part of or you know um, so like, like right now um we're working with all I can say is like a big network yeah. um and uh we're like working TV, on like a like a you know like a vh1 like a 50 like a vt like a like a vt like a like a like a like a vt like a kings vt definitely mad 50 <laughs> i'm just saying I, no, like that's just entertainment my, that's just my take on it like, uh, <laughs> so you know it's a cel- celebration of 50 years of hip hop yeah yeah so yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. things that we were involved in um, we were just a month ago. We were on a billboard in uh, in Times Square, mm. so that was super exciting to see. Um, and I got that coming up. I mean, a couple of my people they're auditioning for TV shows right now. Uh, one of my clients, Metellus, he was in uh, F Boy Island that was on HBO. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So I put that that whole deal together. Wow. Uh, and uh So how that come about though even with that is it uh, like do they pay per episode? Yeah. Okay. They pay That's per how I figure like most of them pay per and episode. And how do you and how do you win on all of this? Cuz like and I'm oh, not saying I, I get a you get you a percentage. Get a, I get a you percentage. Get, okay. Well, yeah. where you at though? Is it 10, 30? 20? 20. 20. I get 20% everything. So if y'all want to sign up with bro, he ain't trying to take y'all whole cake. Yeah, Listen like, to I, him. I'd be like, I ain't trying to take 
you know what I'm saying? All your money, like, right? But twenty percent. But the work that but, I'm doing, yeah, is yeah, yeah, definitely worth it. Though, because it, you know, I'm thinking this in my head too, and I know obviously your focus and stuff is a little bit different. But to me, it even still sound like PR, like a PR. Yeah, company. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To get yeah, people press opportunities. Um, but he you know also what I'm saying? relationships. The- that he might be wearing too many hats right now, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it is like it's it's more like a management company, but he's doing the PR too, right? Yeah, instead yeah, of yeah, doing the so yeah. like in the in I'm the doing future, everything. it might be you get bigger clients or your clients grow bigger, so the money that you're making off of twenty percent ends up being bigger. So now you can pay somebody five percent of that to for them to right, do right. straight yeah. PR. Yeah. yeah. The Funny things that you don't like to you do, to be built. honest. Yeah. Yeah. That's really what the, what the now key I'm is to do. I'm kind of at that point where I'm like, yeah, I need some assistance. Yeah. I need this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it, get, it gets, like, a lot of my clients are, like, heavy hitters right. on social media. So it's like, it's like, I can't keep dealing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, back like, and forth yeah. with just every brand. Little brands Com- all the way up to some of the top people. Yeah. Now tell me that, though, like, when it comes to that, are you reaching out to people too, or are you just taking more of the stuff that's coming in, or are you like, man, no, I know, they, like say for instance, I was one of your clients, and I'm like, bro, I want to work with million dollars worth of game, million dollars worth of game. Well, I would like, re- I would reach out, but how? Like, you can't just DM them. So how like, would you get me two million dollars worth of game? There we go. I like that. Okay, Bailey, you on the spot, man. <laughs> How you gonna well, reverse engineer well, that? Well, first, well, first, I would, I would definitely see your engagement right, on social yeah. media. So I would ask, like, what's your cities? Uh, where you getting all your engagement from? Where is you know what's your ratio between men and women? What you know, what I'm saying, what you hitting on that? Um, then are you comfortable with just being outside the box? So that's Damn. one thing because a lot of the industry. The industry is the industry. Yeah. So, you know, you, a lot of people feel like, oh, I ain't going to do this. Or, or that. I'm not, yeah. All right. We about to go to the next person. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, you have to be open. You got to be ready for just everything that's going to come at you. It's just gearing your mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For that. And then me, I would, what I would try to do is, is, like how you doing your podcast right yeah. now? I definitely would get that out there to them, just to and tag them, tag them on social media, tag them in, and different things like right. that. And when you start, then you might you might just get hit up. You know what I'm saying? They be right. like, hey, I, I seen your podcast. What's going on? Then that's when I would swoop in and be like, right, all right. So he so does with this, the little this, brands this, that we even want to deal with, say throughout real estate and stuff like that, you think we should just be tagging them and everything that we post in, like everything or like kind of huh? like. Tag them into stuff where it's you relevant. feel like it's relevant. Right. Yeah. That's kind of right. what I've been doing. Yeah. At least be like right now, I might like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, when it's come out, we're going to have an episode. I'm going to give it to you, right? Send it to you. But then, obviously, I'm going to make a caption that got your tag in there. Yeah. Yo, at B. Lee just said da 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 You know, he Most sat definitely. down with Master P about this. You know what I'm saying? With Whatever, whatever. And then I may tag Master P too. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm saying it makes sense. Yeah. hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's just just like what I've been, that little Josh shit Hart I just been doing the other weekend. Like, right. I know. <laughs> I said John, John Hart, and they tagged Josh Hart in it. <laughs> I don't they know put how a, that she put in a uh, picture our assistant or whatever to do our editing and stuff. She put hey, his I picture on there. That. I was like, I don't Josh, know, dude. Like, it's some fraud <laughs> shit. Right. But nah, um, but nah, bro. That's that's super dope, though. That's that's. I mean. I'm uh I'm happy for you, bro. I'm happy thank for you, you thank, and I just want to you. you know continue to see it grow and and for y'all to go to new levels. I think that's dope that y'all now y'all. I was gonna say that like I feel like the next step is really y'all gonna be in shows. Yeah, it's start like, to start. You know what I'm saying? People in shows and stuff like that. Once they get to that level, you talking big bread. Now. Yeah, big, yeah. Big like, bread. like I did forget to say that we sponsored by Rihanna. Mm. I, I Riri, did. we yeah. gonna tag you, Riri. <laughs> So yeah, I'm we sponsored sure by her. <laughs> <laughs> we sponsored by Rihanna <laughs> Savage Fenty. So like Damn. we went to a lot of like we went to her store openings that she opened and uh we took over. Uh we did like actually if you go on the Savage Fenty page, you might gotta scroll down a little bit, but you'll see us uh in the promo. Uh Yo, that's why. so so yeah, so so ain't, I really so ain't like no doing cap in my rap. Hey. Sure. Which I really like <laughs> doing hey. with with her though, are you helping her with uh ideas or you just getting her clients so getting, dancers get, like getting her how brand, are y'all working together getting her brand out there 
Oh, so, okay. like, more so, like, because she doesn't, like, with Savage Fenty, they cater towards women more. Yeah. Uh, so she has men and stuff. Mm. But it's like, you wouldn't how, even know that. I didn't yeah, even know that. Too I, much right I definitely didn't know Like, that. so, yeah, so she <laughs> even got, like, sweat, loungewear, boxers, briefs, all that mm. little stuff like that. So, like, she does try to cater towards men, but, you know, women's gonna buy it more. Yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, they try to get us to be out there a little bit. For sure. For sure. Man, damn. That's you got a dope. sponsor by Rihanna, man. That, now, that's Please. wild. Now, that's actually kind of wild. Yeah. Hey, man. That's a, that's really, a all I'm saying is, that's all I'm saying, in the back of your mind, in the back of it, <laughs> when you get that Rock Nation dinner, <laughs> call. They invite you. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we like, got to start getting out. Because like, like, you be throwing. Hey, oh, I'm just saying, my nigga. <laughs> hey, we, we, we. We, it, yeah. it's so, you, we, we you tell me this, nation. bro, because I don't want to just keep it on that. Because I know you got some other stuff going on that you do, yeah. like with the with the city schools and yeah, stuff like that. Kid. Like I feel like that's the stuff that kind of get overlooked. Talk to us about that, bro. Like why you even went back to to doing that and like because you know all those kids looked at them like they was like when you brought all them dudes down and stuff. They probably was looking at them like they was like how we looked at movie actors. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. No, like no, they was for like. Sure. Cause they on TikTok all day. They, they like, were, there were, there was like <laughs> kids literally like screaming, bro. That's wild. I'm like, cause I hang with them, so it's like, and then like even with me though, like yeah. me being in the school building, and just who I am, yeah. you know. Now they like, how do you even have time to like be with us? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you really kicking it with us, you giving us game, you, you know what I'm saying? You you showing love, yeah. and you showing support, like. Don't nobody usually do that. Most you definitely. know what I'm saying? So I feel like always giving back to the youth was always number one for right. me. Um, and I always want the kids to, you know, understand that it's going to take work, you know what I'm saying, to get to where you at. But believe in it. I don't care if nobody believes. You mm. know what I'm saying? Just keep doing, keep doing, and keep moving um, and kind of go from there. Yeah. And so that's a gym right there, though. Yeah. That's a gym to all y'all kids out there. That's a big gym right there. I'm about to take it over just a little bit to the left, to the left, to the left. <laughs> you got all this going on. Yeah. You super busy. You got it. You giving back to the kids. Yeah. You're doing this, that, and the other. You got time for the date life and stuff right now? Uh, What's going on? You dating somebody? Got, uh, what you got going nah, on? No, nah, I'm actually not, but I am open. So, he, so he's, you know he's free. I'm free. I, I talk to a few, you know what I'm saying? And, but I'm very picky. You mm. going you gonna, you gonna to name so, drop him on the show? Nah. Not to, he to... <laughs> but but hey. I, I'm very, I'm very, I'm super, on you. I'm super picky, <laughs> um, you know, and they just got to understand. Like me, I just, I'm very goal driven. Right. So it's like, I even tell like my little brother, my little brother, shout out to him, Deontay Buckley. But, hey. Uh, he got four kids now, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, shit, I can't do it, brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it's Deontay, tough. man, <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Bucked out, man, we played it a uh, tab together. Now I remember, man, half of our plays, we used to play on the, what was it? I think with the Jets or something like that. Oh, I remember. I remember you that. You remember that? Played on the Jets, man. I was my dog, man, and half of it. And we'd be in practice. Hey, man, I don't know what your brother, I don't know what your family got going on. I don't know what the case is, but this nigga was in high school in sixth grade, bro. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. They was all like that, though, grade, bro. bro. Dude, people bro. that I just named, in bro. In fifth grade, mm. this nigga was 180. Hey, they all was like that. I said, nigga, what? Hey. Who's tackling him? Dude, Broke him the like ball, that. and it, there we go. Go do your thing. Right, right. I think it's like, nah, man, it was fun, man. We uh, we definitely got some uh. Trophies and memories and all that stuff with us, man. But yeah, Buck always oh, been cool. Went to Dub C. I went to Benavis. So tell me this, then, nah, bro. Man. Like since y'all, you know, y'all got y'all got the ladies following y'all. Mo- like that's probably a big, big, big part of y'all audience. Yeah. I'm guessing yeah. like 80, 90 percent of yeah. y'all audience. Yeah. What does a man like you want then? Like in a woman, like like tell me that. Yeah. Like yeah, w- what's picky? Like you just said, picky. Break that down. Well, for me, yeah, because like that? so. Yeah. Certain my clients, some of them ain't picky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they a little open. They, <laughs> for sure. they get to the end. For right. So, right. But it's like for me, like you gotta have like a business mindset. You gotta 
match my fly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, can't be out here just with everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them now, they all want to get in trouble. They you are. Know, the scene. Especially if they on the scene and doing they, the TikTok type yeah, of thing. Yeah, the city. They, they want to be city they girls own. and all that little yeah. stuff like that. But it's like, okay, it's cool. To a certain extent. It's cool as a vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a not vibe. cool when it becomes permanent. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the problem, bro. Yeah, that down there was... <laughs> that was I a think, good one. I huh? always thought about it like that. Like, I'm like, bro, it's cool when it's a vibe. Like, all right, I'm going out with my girl. We doing it. This is how we going to be at. You know, we going to do that. That's cool. But when it becomes permanent, that's yeah, when it... Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> all right, now it's starting to get a look old yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm it saying? It get old. Like, yeah. even with me now, like, going... Like, with my clients, they'll be like... Like, because we're going to Houston um, Memorial Day week. So, like, they, they trying like, to be like, all the rooms. We live... We out every day. I'm like, who out every day? Right. Uh, be, we right. Ain't now, but it's like, I still have to go out, you know what yeah. I'm saying, to kind of promote and just kind of be out there with them. But it's like, I, it gets old. I like, mean, but you just like a GM to a, to a to a to yeah. a, uh, a championship yeah, team. Yeah, you still like, at the yeah. games. Yeah. You still at the games and all you that. You ain't at home watching it. Right, right, right. You right, right. exactly. got to be yeah. in the stands. Bro. Exactly. But you ain't gonna be in practice every single day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you gonna have to be, and especially like you definitely ain't gonna be going to the team parties at the club and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and some know, of my clients, they be and like, some of them, you have to. You yeah, know, you I have to. to. Yeah, but nah, nah definitely I have not to most now yeah. because yeah. it's like it's like you oh, It's like so, now yeah. it's like if you you sponsored by a brand and then you act crazy out and you do something stupid, you can get that shit ripped away from you. Get away, like, and they'll look at me and be like, "Oh, so you let such and such do that?" And like everybody, like sometimes my clients play. Like, I'm grown. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. A grown. But it's like, I ain't trying to be nobody daddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you do what you got to do. But at the same time, though, you're not going to mess my brand I'm up. I'm about to say respect the and, brand. And, and you got to respect what I what I paved for you to get to where you're at. And you also got to respect your brand. You know what I'm saying? You can't just keep doing everything. And that's why, like, a lot of times on social media, a lot of people see, like, them on YouTube going at it. Or you might see a, a TikTok they'll tag. Like, I get a lot of clients that, they're so big, like, and they get into relationships, and then it's like mm. it gets blown up yeah. on social media. They, they've been on it's this page um called Messy Mash, and like there's like you know we've been on we've been on the shade room before, we've been on a spiritual world, right? Like all those little things, like and some of the stuff that we went viral for on there wasn't even really that bad, right? But, like. They relationships though, like be bad, like yeah. girls throwing they chains in the toilet, yeah. doing all kind of crazy stuff. Do like, you feel like just because of the social media and because of the the presence of that, that when you do have arguments, a lot of the times from your clients or stuff like that, it kind of half of them are from social media. Do you feel like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No like, doubt, no like, doubt. And it's yeah. more exaggerated. Even the it's exaggerated. Behind, it's more even exaggerated because yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The, all of the attention is on there. So it's like, okay. But also, I try to tell my clients, like, don't egg it on either. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like sometimes sometimes they'll be quiet, and I'll be like, just be quiet. Don't yeah. say nothing. Let it die down. But then, like, they'll go and do a YouTube video, or they'll go and do something else, and it brings it right back up. And it's like, just wow. leave it. Let, let it rest just where let it, it is. Let it rest. from now, ain't nobody even going to remember No. That. Ain't nobody going you know to remember it. So, so yeah. That's wild. Hey, but at this point in the show, man, we definitely you know get, what it is. Hey, we're going to get into our section of the show called Overtime. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we in OT right now. Yes, sir. Actually, bro, we we asked him today. We like, man, what, what should we talk about that's really going on? We tried, we, we was thinking about it. <laughs> uh, but he brought one up that was super dope because we definitely got to speak on this. The Blue Check Subscription on Instagram. <laughs> Dang. Blue check subscription. Fifteen dollars a month, right? And you can be certified. Certified. But I blue check. How y'all feel about that? I I it's cool for me like personally. Like I don't see nothing wrong with it, but there's some things I think there should be some stipulations behind it. Yeah. Of like, why you have it. Like what? Um I feel <laughs> like if you like sports and like 
if you're trying to be an influencer, if you're trying to do a lot of different things, like, I feel like, yeah, because there's a lot of fake pages that get made. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so if they see that it's, like, officially from you, uh -huh. then, yeah, like, that's cool. Like, and I know some people that weren't even celebrities that had fake pages. Yeah. Made it. Right. And yeah. it's like, oh, okay. Me? Now I got a blue, yeah. I got a blue check. I got a couple. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Now you know it's officially me, you know? Right. And, and that's where my, that's where it comes from for me. But, like, I, I don't know, like, I've seen some athletes that have, like, 500 followers and that have a blue check, but that could have came from the back end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Is that, is it weird? So tell me this, though. What if you really the person, right? You really the person and it's a fake page that's created and they get a blue check, but it's your shit. They, they can't get a blue check. Cause... What if you don't have them? Like, me right now, I don't have a blue check, right? So if somebody yeah. make a fake page of me and they get and, a blue check, and now they you're a blue they can't, check. They can't though, because they got to provide. They have to provide. You have to provide your ID, oh, your driver's yeah. license. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make Should, sure. I'm gonna make a fake one of this nigga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take his uh, ID and submit it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a clown ass page of him, y'all. That's some real hey, hating ass shit. Hey, he gonna be shit. on there looking goofy as hell, y'all. That's some real hey. hating ass shit. Y'all heard it now. Hey, I'm gonna put that video. Matter of fact, have her edit this in. I'm gonna put that video of him this weekend when I when I uh, scared his ass when he was asleep on my couch. I said, "Whoa!" That boy jumped up out of his shirt. It's cool though because hey, listen, <laughs> listen. I when said, we go to like stripper, what? When we go to Check Arizona, like when we go to Arizona, we I'm go on get your back. You can't get me. I get up before you, bro. That's it. Don't matter what time you get. You I ain't got to get you like that. No, I got Fam. kids. I be up already, bro. Fam, you Shit. can be up. You can be wide awake. You can be my highly take, alert. My take on the blue check is cat. I nah. think I think the same thing, bro. I need to. I think there needs to be some parameters put around it. Cap. It is kind of cat. Cause it's some cappers out there that like, exactly. it is. like they doing oh, yeah. bad business out oh, here, but man. they got a check. So people, <laughs> and it's certain people, bro. What's crazy is it's some people that don't even fucking know that you can still pay that now you can pay for it for fifteen dollars. So like they might go and look at this. Oh, he's he's this still verified. Da, 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 da. Like, but my thing is, I feel like it. They it definitely need to be some parameters put around it. Um, I feel like I don't want one no more <laughs> because I feel like it's watered down now. I feel yeah. like it's watered down. Like if I was able to get it because of my accomplishments and all of that type of stuff, then I would have felt it's more. It was more like a prestigious thing. For, it was all like a little trophy, like you know what I'm saying, like a medal, kind of. You know what I'm saying. I feel like now if I could just pay for that, that's fine. But I really don't want it anymore. As you watered it down, yeah. But yeah third, but I, third. Hold on, hold yeah. Third. Go ahead, go ahead. My go third, ahead. my third one. Don't cut me the fuck get off, it out, bro. man. Nah, <laughs> say that shit. Nah, but my my third one was I feel like they just need to make it more. Like I think it needs to be. I think I it do needs, too. I think I, it needs to be. Yeah, the price standard. needs to go up, bro. Yeah. If you don't pay for it, it needs to be fifteen hundred or something. That's a Netflix subscription, right? You know, or what I'm if saying? you really, really verified, then you don't have to pay. Because if you, you know somebody's process. paying fifteen hundred dollars a month, you're like, okay, they gotta be somebody. Not not even side. Got to be somebody, but they gotta be putting all this money into something, right? You know what I'm saying? Like if it was fifteen hundred, I'd be like, now nah, that makes sense. Or a thousand even, bro, five hundred even. It's like if somebody's putting up five hundred dollars a month, bro, for a fake page, like they really are tripping. You know what I'm tripping. saying? Like, they got the scamming on lock. Boy, they getting heli cash apps, you get jail what I'm saying? requests, boy. and BOA credit cards. Because you have to shit. pay. I think you have to pay like fifteen. You have to pay fifteen dollars for Instagram, and then fifteen dollars for Facebook too. So, so it's you got 30. that. So it's like thirty. Because they said in the first twenty four hours, it was like forty four million people that bought in. So they made like six hundred and. Forty-six million or some crazy. Yeah, it up was there. crazy. It was a crazy number. Over crazy. half, over half a billion dollars in two days. Ain't that ain't that wild, bro? If you can sit back, that just in lets you days. know where our society is as far as just yeah. in general of how people. But I think that it, that goes to say this, nah, nah. Look, look, I'm I saying it's genius. I'm saying yeah, I'm saying them. the fact that people still feel like social media is not important. Mm. People still feel like. Social media mm. is not important for their business. That should not show important you right for there, brand. you saying. If that doesn't show you that <laughs> social true, media yeah. is important yeah. is very... for just in general, for yes, your bro. credibility, for you to make money, for you to do whatever you're trying to do, grow something and really, like, you know what I'm saying, skip past some mm -hmm. levels and get into some rooms 
that you normally Probably never would have got into. never even got into if it wasn't for it. That's that's the proof right there. Yeah, bro. yeah, definitely. Like, I even tell my clients like, cause they they be on it. Cause like with me, like I got blue check. You know what I'm saying? Right. But my you blue check, it, you know. my, my blue check, I don't <laughs> got to pay for it because I have another company pay for it. Oh. Uh, uh, so so it's one a of the sponsors is paying for it. Oh, okay. Damn, that's actually dope. That's all right. That's so dope. It, it, but that's the thing, like, and then it's like, shit, I'm verified for right. real. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, I can show you some stuff, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that, too. That, yeah, yeah, like that's behind that, it. Yeah, so it's exactly. like, for sure. if you're not doing nothing, with it, you just getting it just to be right. on social media, like that's lame. See, I think it's important for people like us too. Like, I mean, I honestly, I was gonna try to get it through my whole Purdue stuff and like being an athlete you and already playing said pro, that shit, bro. all of that. I, I said it before it started. Um, <laughs> I never said it during the podcast. Um, but I was gonna try to get it through there. And but but my biggest thing with that was is like. All right, yeah, that's fine. But I was like, if I was able to pull it off, like when investors look at our pages right. and stuff like that, yeah, they like, oh, he's verified. He's verified. So yeah. that's that more of the certification that I was looking for, not right. not it's for people to be like, oh, he dope, he he verified. It was more of the credibility of it being like, oh, he's somebody, like he's actually yeah. but like it gives you, know you credibility. I think our yeah. culture, it's our culture, black culture, yeah, that looks at it different, yeah. Because, because like it's just like I don't know you look at like a rapper or you look at somebody like Big Dope Dealer dude, yeah. you know what I'm saying like they like oh, he got the chains he got the car he got the hoes he got this he yeah. got that you know what I'm saying like so it's like he's spare you know what I'm yeah. saying like he's super right, legit with that image with, with that, that, with that with, image with just putting up, up that image you yeah know and then that blue check to them makes it look super like Oh, uh, you home for real yeah, now? Like, yeah, you on? yeah. But I think, and then other cultures is this like, oh, it's just me. Like I own a business or I right. own this, and like we look at it like now it's clout. Because they might be looking at it like bottle pop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, but like, you're right though. They might they way that they looking at it like white folks, Asian folks, people like that, bro. That's in the business. They just verifying that hey, this is definitely me. Yeah, this is definitely me. That's right. it. Like that's it. Yeah. Exactly. That's crazy, bro. Like that's if it. you think about it, they want to never think about it. And that's it like why that. Facebook literally says now, like even <laughs> even with celebrities, that's actually dope. Like yeah. if you look at their verified like thing, it says this: the blue check is part of Mer Ver Meta Verified, but it is to make sure that this person is like legitly them. Damn, it's not, I might have to get it's, it now. It's right, not, it's not it's a, I didn't never like, think about it like that because niggas did have me thinking about the other blue way. check. But the blue check has always been that because, yeah, like, facts. if you were yeah, you're athlete, right. yeah, you're right. If you were an athlete, you automatically it could be got a whole one because bunch of pages, yeah, of, of you, yeah. And it's like, nah, we got to make sure that this is this athlete. Exactly. That's wild, man. Well, I think That's I might have to give me one. I might have to give me one. Go pay that thirty T. I might have to pay that thirty. Double it up. Pay for you, yeah, man. I ain't paying for you, man. Maybe I can get the business to pay for it. We can oh. hit, hit. Yeah, you that's know true. What I'm saying? That's right. We need some business right now. Hey, Billy, hold on. Nah, wait a minute. I'm trying to do that play. He doesn't have somebody else sponsoring. Yeah, we might have to holler at you. Hey, man. Shit. What's up? We might have to holler at you. I got some We need the promotions. You a brand out there? Come and rock with us because we going to the next level. Yeah. Tell us. Take a little bit of time, but we we up. Tell the tell the um the followers the listeners. Man, where can they find you at? Where can they check out your stuff? Um, kind of tell us about that uh, before we head up out of here, bro. Okay, uh, so like Instagram, I am, it's I am the official B dot Lee on Instagram. TikTok, it is you better B dot leave it. Um, you make sure I got it. Yeah, that's it. That's good. Them the main Most ones that, that you own. Them main the main channels. ones that I'm really really on most definitely yeah well y'all check out my homie man yeah we really yeah. appreciate you bro i appreciate yes, you for coming yes, on sir. taking time out to, to kick it with us sit back sure. with us really give some game to all these people out here yeah. just really trying to do a lot of what you're doing right now nap, so nap grown you know what i'm nap saying nap bro nap bro sure. you yes, feel sir. Me? Nah, yes sir down. most definitely nah man shoot that's love man be like keep doing what you're doing man keep uh, appreciate it Y'all too. Y'all you know I mean? keep doing this. Yeah, this is dope. Man. This is dope to see. Appreciate it. You know what I mean? Yeah, appreciate keep, it. Keep, you know what I'm saying? Adding to it, keep making it better, keep learning, taking feedback. But yeah, also being able to maybe even, you know what I'm saying, link up with you, figure out how 
I don't even know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're right. It is something that can actually make sense, but just, you know, trying to get it into different places. But Absolutely. regardless, man, I appreciate you hopping yeah, on. Appreciate you Rocking with us. And before we leave, mm-hmm. see what you got to tell the people. Man, make sure y'all check us out. Make sure y'all check out our, our mentorship, Moguls in the Making. It's, in our, it's been on both of our IGs. It's on our TikTok. It's, it's, it's in the bio. Yep. Man, but we on there teaching people the game. We giving people real estate game all the way from Billy. You need to you need to tap in too. Just different stuff. Like once you start making money, what you going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like stuff like that. Like how how is how do I not make the same mistakes that these dudes had to make for the first two, three years of being in the business? I mean, basically, our our mentorship is a shortcut right to the shit. Like, you're getting right there. Like, it ain't no fluff. It's no nothing. You can ask us questions today. Uh, but we also, but it's a live mentorship. We go live every Friday um, for a live Q&A uh, with our mentees. We have an event uh, th- every uh, once one Thursday a month that we take you guys out to properties, kind of show you how we look at properties, trying to show you some before and afters of property, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else we got, man? What man, else we got? We got, we got somebody actually in the group right now and it's finishing up. They flip. They just are. put it on the market. Got full asking price yeah. in a day or so of it being on the market. Did at ex- literally exactly what we told him to do. Everything. Um, got full price asking, man. Uh, he did his thing. Great deal. I feel like it's a great, you know what I'm saying? We're going to walk through it. First deal, too. Probably tomorrow. First deal. First and deal. Gonna, about- you know what I'm saying? Be close or around, you know, hovering around that six figure range you know what i mean a little bit under that but just in that vicinity or whatever where you could you know potentially make on it after you know everything is all said and done so people were really just learning you know what i'm saying he knew nothing zero yeah absolutely nothing just took the knowledge and just took the next step okay what i do next okay what absolutely. i do next so man sometimes that's all it is you're just getting around people who's really active and that's what they do most you know what i'm saying yeah. and going and that is the only shortcut you put in the work but if you're willing to do that lock up with people you able to make some money. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it's so. just a big community worth of people. We got real estate agents, appraisers. We got different people inside of there. It's not just us. You know what I'm saying? So there's different people in there that can give you that's working together right that's now. working together I literally to right off. now. There's a realtor and well, the, the guy I was just talking about, they linked up. So she's yep. selling his property for him. Exactly. Right and they both in the group. And they, <laughs> they both, both make money group. together. You that's what, what we was looking to, com- um, to create was like a big community, man. But definitely follow me on the ground, legacy underscore T E. Easer. Yes, sir. And you know where you can catch me at catch a bag underscore O. And just like that, straight like that. Moments gonna make an episode 18. We out. We out.